Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Right, moving on. Now, let us look at the current developments about which you may not find data in many textbooks. Okay. This information is not normally available, so please pay attention. This is the present and the future. I would say that the pneumatic instrumentation was uh, past and it is going on in the present, but very soon this is what you are going to see. First of all, tell me what is the problem? What is the problem in using a pitostatic tube? for speed measurement. One answer is there can be blockages, there can be leakages. Okay, suppose I take care of blockages and leakages. Do you still have a problem in using a pitostatic tube? What is the problem? I will give you a hint. Look at, look at a high performance aircraft. Okay. What could be the problem? Or let me ask you very specifically, for which kind of aircraft? The, stat, the pitostatic tube is not something that you would like to see. Anybody here? Yes. In the next moment, it may be in some other than maneuver. Right. Which causes the velocity to decrease suddenly. Right. Or increase suddenly. So in that case, the pitot system won't be able to uh, take into account the sudden change in the that is an assumption, but it is not true. That is not that is not true. The pitostatic system is very, very because it works on pressure and pressure gets conveyed immediately. So, there is no lag, there is no lag. Yes, what can happen is you are flying at a low speed and then you become supersonic and then subsonic, the shock wave comes and goes. But whatever happens, the output is pressure and pressure is sensed beautifully by an instrument. I am assuming an instrument is leak free and the instrument is block free. Okay. If it is blocked or leaked, then God help you. Okay. Yes, anybody else? Ah, there is one hand raised here. Do you also have a comment? Okay, just a minute. This is, uh, we will go here. So, please take a mic and tell me what could be the problem. My specific question is for which kind of aircraft is a pitostatic tube a serious problem? Hello. Yeah. Yes. So my name is Dhanesh. Yes. Actually, in those aircraft which are uh, maneuvering too high, so there will be a position and error. Means like if it is flying like this, so there will be an air with different angle of attack in low speeds. There could be a problem. With no, that. it doesn't matter, sir, because whatever the aircraft does, the repercussion of that is only pressure, and pressure is sensed very quickly, almost instantaneously by a system. So high maneuvering, changing speeds changing altitude, rate of climb, etc. is not a problem. There is something more fundamental, some other fundamental application where you cannot ex uh, accept this. Yes, now we will come to you. Yeah. Sir, uh, it is requiring for uh, this uh, military aircraft like which are, uh, which require the stealth properties like to reduce the RCS. Stealth property, yeah, that is the thing. See, a pitostatic tube is a very small pointed device and it will give a very strong signature return. So, yes, that is the answer. So, aircraft which are supposed to be stealthy, they cannot, they cannot be relied to use on this instrument because it will be a giveaway. You spend hours of research and tons of money in making it with good low signature and then you find the canopy is reflecting or you the one pitot tube is reflecting and it is giving away the position. So, what kind of pitot tube, static tube or what kind of speed measurement systems would you like to have on such aircraft? Ones which are flush, which are not projecting out. Okay. So, you have something called as pitot plates. Pitot plates are very interesting. They basically are plates which are attached to the side of the aircraft. And as the air goes through them, we try to find out the difference between 
the two sides of the the pressure on two sides of the plate okay so what you do is you direct a plate direct air through a plate which has a hole inside okay and now you measure the amount of air constricted by the obstruction so this is used in aircraft like these this aircraft is the raptor f22 and uh, stealth bomber b2 i have not shown because you can't see it okay uh, so it is supposed to be really stealthy so it's used in these two aircraft the question is how do they work okay and the answer is not expected right now let us study this and answer this is something new information about this is not easily available a simple google search on pitot plates will not show anything except pitot static tubes because google will think you have made a wrong entry okay so this is a very interesting topic i would like you to spend some time searching material for pitot plates and put it up on model okay moving on to the latest things have you heard of radar there is something called a lidar also in which you replace radio with light okay so light detection and right so here we use light for ranging and detection and a very interesting concept called as nestle nestle is new standby lidar instrument experiment it was carried out and then when it was successful there was another project called as daniela demonstration of anemometry instrument based on laser now no pressure only laser or lidar is used okay so let's see let's see what this is and how it works so first i want to show you how good it is so here you see a line which is inclined at almost 45 degrees and the dots there indicate on the x axis you have the true air speed which is altitude data and the true air speed which is measured by this this nestle experiment you can notice they are perfectly aligned on the 45 degree line which means there is an error between the two but very very marginal in fact if you want to be more specific there is another figure which shows uh, the error so on top there are actually two lines we see only one line but there are two lines superimposed over each other they are so perfectly matching that it looks like only one line and that is a comparison of the true air speed recorded by this nestle experiment and the actual actual by pitostatic instrumentation on the bottom you have this uh, error difference in knots and the difference is only between between plus minus so plus 2 and minus 3 or let's say 4 in some cases so difference is only between plus minus 4 knots and the speeds are 200 knots 250 knots 150 knots so in 150 knots the error is only about plus minus 4 knots so that is the beauty let's see what this is i have a nice video which explains explains this particular uh, experiment so this is from nlr in holland the aircraft that was used for the experiment this red block is the lidar block the airport is shipot in amsterdam these are the optical heads which are measuring the speed using the lidar they tested the system in cloud in bad weather rain in disturbed wind so 
notice the partners basically this is a, a project under FP6 okay now FP7 has also been announced you can see all of all the big names in aerospace instrumentation as well as in aerospace engineering they are all there uh, who are partners in this project it is a research project therefore the implementation of this has not yet taken place in aircraft. This is a futuristic project where the aim is to remove the usage of pressure instruments on aircraft. So I just took some time to read the report okay. So this is the photo of the executive summary. Important thing is that this airspeed system was successfully integrated in the research aircraft okay. There were 46 flights about 100 hours of flying and what is the result? The system can be operated in normal and extreme conditions clear air, big rain droplets and dust particles okay and there are no show stoppers that means they do not think anything can go wrong. There is no obvious uh, error or obvious problem in this particular system okay. So this is the shape of things to come for the future. 